And welcome to Paris Live on Radio France International. It's Friday the 9th of June. I'm Ollie Horton. Here are some of the stories making headlines around the world this morning. British Prime Minister Theresa May is facing pressure to resign after losing her parliamentary majority in the general election. With nearly all constituencies counted, May's Conservative Party holds 313 seats, far from the 326 needed. They remain, however, the biggest party ahead of Labour, which stands on 260 seats. May surprised the country in April by calling the snap elections, seeking to shore up her 17-seat majority two weeks ahead of the start of talks with the European Union to negotiate Brexit. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn said earlier that May should step down now that she had lost support and she had lost confidence. Iran says that five of its nationals have killed 17 people in twin attacks in Tehran, where Islamic State members who have been to the group's strongholds in Iraq and Syria. Wednesday's attacks on Tehran's parliament complex and the shrine of revolutionary leader Ayatollah Khomeini, which also wounded more than 50 people, were the first claimed by IS in Iran. The intelligence ministry suggested there were only five attackers rather than the six originally reported. They were armed with rifles and pistols, and at least two blew themselves up with suicide vests. Police said a further five people were arrested around Khomeini's shrine on suspicion of involvement. The TV channel Al Jazeera, which is based in Qatar, says it has been the victim of hacking, which targeted all of its computer systems. Some people in the Middle East said they were no longer able to watch the channel. Sydney Gulf Arab states are in the midst of a major diplomatic crisis after Saudi